God is saying to you today, be careful today. People will be looking at you and seeing how you act, my child. Be mindful and careful because the devil, your enemy, is always seeking to bring you down with him. You have the choice to do what you want. I am not going to control you. You can choose me or you can dismiss me. I want you to know that I desire you to be with me. However, I want your choice to be simple. You either choose me or the world. It can't be both. People may love you if you left me, but one day, God will bless you with one person that gives you everything you've ever prayed and cry for in other people, and it'll be beautiful. When we open our hearts to the gospel, we open ourselves up to the possibility of change. This change is not always easy, but it is always worth it. So don't be afraid to let the gospel into your life. Allow it to speak to you, challenge you, and transform you. In doing so, you will be transformed into the person God wants you to be. Before you meet Jesus Christ, the Lord will renew your heart. It will take away your pain and give you a new heart filled with his spirit. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. This is the work of God's spirit in our hearts. Christ came to seek and to save that which was lost, but Christ came to give us new life, to make us alive in him. He gives us a new heart so that we might know him and love him. Before you meet Jesus Christ, the Lord will renew your heart. You will have a new life in Christ. Train your mind to see the good in everything. Positivity is a choice. Something stressful is about to exit from your life to be replaced by blessings. Sometimes you have to leave, not for ego, but for self-respect. The biggest suspense of life is that you don't know who is praying for you and who is playing with you. I love God. God's plans for my future are far bigger than my fears. Do not tell God that you have a big problem. Tell your problem you have a big God. In our hard times, God gives us chances to realize our mistakes and to improve ourselves. So do not take your hard time as a punishment. It is a blessing from God. Failing is an important part of success. Whenever you fail and get up, you practice perseverance, which is a key to life. Your strength comes from your ability to recover. Do not worry. God is never deaf to your prayers, never blind to your tears, and never silent to your pain. He hears, he sees, and he will deliver. You cannot break a person who gets his strength from God. Life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. If you want to succeed, focus on changing yourself, not others. God, I can't say it in words. Can you please listen only through my heart? Life will only change when you become more committed towards your dreams as compared to your comfort zone. Stop chasing what your mind wants, and you will get what your soul needs. Take a deep breath and smile. Surrender everything to God and flow freely with love. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.